Hey guys, today I'll be talking to you guys about EVA foam and the different kinds of EVA foam that are out there. There are many different places to get them, but today I'm only going to be talking about four different kinds. So, I hope you enjoy this and let's talk about foam! First up is Silly Wings. This is a general foam that you can get at most craft stores, usually found at Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics. It's pretty much what most cosplayers start off on because it's what is most easily accessible. All in all, this foam is nice, but the downside is that it only comes in small sheets and the fact that they staple in their product sticker onto the foam itself, so you won't be able to use that part unless you fill it in. Next up is EVA foam mats, or as some people know them as hardware mats or yoga mats. These are typically come in square packs of 5 or 6, and usually one side is smooth and the other side has a bumpy texture. Due to the bumpy texture, you usually have to sand that side down because that side is not usable to be shown on the front side for your armor or whatever you're making with the foam. So that is the main downside to this foam. This foam usually only comes in its square sizes, but there are variants out there such as yoga mats which can be rolled up. For the most part, you'll be finding the square ones at, uh, at hardware stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, or Harbor Freight. Lumen's Workshop Foam is a fantastic foam. It has a huge variety of different kinds of foam from thickness to densities. Their store even has different accessories for foam such as foam scales and foam dowels and all sorts of different types of foam, foam objects. The only downside to Lumen's is that it is an online only store, so if you're on a tight schedule you will need to order ahead of time. Though they can also be found at Arta Wigs as well, so you can use some of those saved up Arta points towards the foam. Next up is the newest foam that's come available, which is Yaya Han's foam collection. In my opinion, it is very similar to the Lumens brand. Yaya's foam doesn't come in as many sizes or variants as the Lumens foam, but you can find the foam at your local Joann's craft store, so there is a plus with that, that if you're running on a tight schedule, you can go and pick it up if need be. All in all, these foam sheets aren't all that different. Each foam brand has its positives and its negatives of its own, so just pick the one that works out for the project that you have at hand. I also wanted to quickly touch on two different kinds of foam, which is foam dowels. This one here is from the Yaya Han collection. Foam dowels are amazing and can be used for different accents of your cosplay, such as border, bias for your armor, or maybe you're using them from a different side for your prop, maybe a vine or a bangle, or anything that wraps around your cosplay that needs to be light. Lumen's Workshop also has a variety of foam dowels as well. And this here is Lumen's Workshop's foam clay. This stuff is incredible. It works as normal clay, but when it hardens after 48 hours, it stiffens to just the same texture and density as foam. So you can mold this into whatever shape you need to, let it dry, and just stick it onto your cosplay. I'm still experimenting with this and haven't used it for many projects, but from what I have used it for, it is a fantastic material and I highly recommend it. And here are our foam samples. Where do you get your foam and what's your favorite foam? No matter where you get your foam from, all these different brands are great and easy to use, so whatever you pick, I'm sure it'll be perfect for your cosplay. Happy cosplaying, and I hope you like this little look into different kinds of foam.